Hi there! In this episode I will build this diorama. Let's start with the base. I'm gonna use a picture frame and a high density styrofoam block for building a base. After I fixed the foam block on the frame, now I'm carving the surface with a blade for getting irregular surface texture. Like this. First of all, I must warn you about something. There are a few unsuccessful attempts in this video, and this is one of them. I am making pre-colored mixture like in the first video which I used for making mud on the tires. This is not gonna work, but I found another useful texture effect with this way. So, let's continue to drink that. Water, acrylic paints, white glue and plaster of Paris. These are the materials need for making this mixture. First, I am covering the entire surface with this mixture. Then I am adding different sizes of gravels and stones over on it. At the end of all this, I am create a ground fillet with gravel and stone pieces that are buried in the ground and look realistic. After it dried, I am rubbing the surface with an old toothbrush and a sponge piece. That's not the effect what I'm looking for, but I will keep that in my mind for the next time when I'm building a dirt road or a creek bed. I'm gonna fix that with this way. I'm making a mixture again using with white glue, water, gravel and sand mixture. By the way, this is what I'm looking for. I'm applying the mixture on the entire surface in a thin layer. After it dried, I'm painting the surface with Tamiya XF59. I carved four slots for the tires and now I'm making tire tracks. I should have made them at the first place, but never mind, let's do it.
I picked some natural materials from the garden. I'm fixing them to the base with white glue. I'm applying some dust effect with Tamiya XF57 to over them. These bows doesn't look harmonious with the base. I'm applying some weathering with sepia coloring on them. I will partially apply static grass on the base with homemade static grass applicator. and a classic of Africa dioramas. This figure set is probably the most used set of Africa dioramas, but this is my first. As an aircraft modeler, I have to say that cutting human parts from the sprue is so weird. These parts need to be cleaned and prepared for assembly. Of course, I won't show you how to assemble all the figures. I applied all of the steps you will see to all the figures. This time I will paint the figures with brush. I watched a few videos and decided to apply black and white primer.
I think it's ready for painting. I'm gonna use Vallejo acrylic paints. If I didn't get wrong that in this technique, for getting multicolor tone result with the same color, I need to apply multiple thin layers over and over again. After reaching the darkest tint, I continue to paint on the specific areas for making contrast between the details. It's very difficult to paint and align the eyes of the figures. But if I made a mistake, I can clean the paint with water easily before it dried. And I did so many times. After painting the eyes, it was easy to paint the remaining details. Let's make a canned beef stew using with some gravel and white glue. Let's paint this little guy. After applying a gloss layer to the figures, I applied the light wash mixture to all figures and now I'm fixing it with matte varnish. After the matte layer dried, now I'm applying some sunburns, dirt, dust, beard effects to the figures using with soft pastel chalks.
Finally, everything is ready for the final assembly. I know this is not an original diorama idea, but I had to start with something like this. I need to gain experience in building diorama because I have a few crazy diorama ideas. Stay tuned for them. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. If you liked the video, please share your thoughts on the comment section below. See you on the next episode. Until then, keep modeling and take care of yourself. Bye. Now, enjoy the pictures. Mm -hmm.